All right, in this section, we're going to be learning how to factor trinomials. Now, just as a brief recap of what we've done before, remember that uh, our first rule of factoring is always, always factor out the GCF. Well, in this problem that we have here, we do not have a GCF, so now we need to look to see how many terms we have. There are three terms, so this is a trinomial, and because the first coefficient is a 1, we're going to factor by trial and error. Now, before I actually factor this with trial and error, I want to kind of go backwards so that we can see where each part of the factorization comes from. So, I tell you what, let's start out with another problem. Let's start out with something like um, x plus 4 times x minus 5. Now, if we see something like this, we're supposed to multiply these two binomials together, which means we have to distribute. So we're going to distribute our x, so x times x would be x squared, and x times negative 5 would be negative 5x. And then we're going to distribute our 4. 4 times x would be plus 4x, and 4 times negative 5 would be negative 20. Now, once we get to this stage, then, of course, we would combine like terms. So we would have x squared minus 5 plus 4 would be minus 1x, we don't have to write the 1, minus 20. All right, this is what happens when we multiply binomials and we get uh, the trinomial, the product. What we're going to be doing in factoring trinomials is going backwards. We're going to be starting with the trinomial and then taking it back to its factored state. Now, in order for us to do this, um, let's just go ahead and let's put parentheses over here because we know that's what it's going to look like when we're done. Okay, think about where this first term came from. We multiplied the x times the x in order to get the x squared. So in order to start out our factorization, we have to figure out what times what will give us this first term here. So, of course, x times x will give us x squared. That one is the easiest one. Now, let's think about where we got this negative 20 from. This negative 20 came from multiplying the 4 times the negative 5. So these last positions here in the binomials. So we have to think of two things that multiply together to get 15. Well, let me just put that down here. Um, factors of 15 would be 1 times 15 or 3 times 5. Now notice that in order to get this middle term here, the middle term was a combination of the outer terms and the inner terms here from our multiplying those binomials. So we, if we had a minus 5 and a plus 4, that came together to give us a minus 1 in the middle. So we're going to use the same approach here for this problem. We're going to think of these factors of 15, but somehow we want them to give us a positive 8. Well, that will happen if we use the 3 and the 5. So 3 times 5 is 8, I'm sorry, 3 times 5 is 15, rather. Sorry. And the way that we'll get a positive 8 is if the 3 is positive and if the 5 is positive. So this is how that factors. Now, we're not going to have to do this every time. As you get better at this, you're going to start to see some patterns, and you will be able to do it without writing all of this stuff out.